Greetings, our doers. Even though at Stealthy Wood, scheduling shifts doesn't involve hundreds of employees yet, I can assure you that it's still very important for anyone nonetheless. Therefore, allow me to give you some advice. Whether you manage a workforce of a few or of a few hundred employees, being on top of your shifts and tasks will prevent you from falling behind. If you don't fall behind, you don't lose productivity. If you don't lose any productivity, you will keep the wheels rolling smoothly. To make sure we continue doing amazing work at SW, we will use Odoo's planning application. The planning app allows me to build my employee shifts in just a few minutes. And at a glance, track their hours. Everything can be done easily and quickly in one single solution. So let's check it out right now. All right, here I am on my database. Let's go straight to the planning application. So the first thing we're going to see when we're on the planning app is our schedule. So I'm going to see my own schedule here. All right, I have this filter my shifts. Okay, I can, I'm looking at this by the week, but I can also look at this by the day. I don't have anything scheduled or by month as well. Um, now, what else is really cool about this is that not only can I look at my shifts, but I can also look at the open shifts as well. Okay, and I can also look at the shifts that will be in the future and those that were in the past. Okay, so this is really cool because maybe I want to pick up some extra shifts um, so I can quickly see what's available. Um, but perhaps I only want to pick up some um, open morning shifts. I can actually look at what's available just by selecting the role here. So first of all, I will only look at the open shifts and then look by the delivery in the morning. So this is a really cool way um, just to keep track of my own schedule um, and also all of the shifts that are available to me as well. All right, but now that I've seen how I can do that, let's also see how we can create new roles in order to create some shifts for them. So we're gonna go to configuration roles. All right, so I've already created a few. So I have three different shifts for um, delivery during the week. So I have uh, morning, evening, and afternoon delivery. Okay, I also have delivery on Saturday, but I'm going to create a new shift right now by clicking on create or a new role, I should say, excuse me. And this will be delivery on Sundays. Okay, customer satisfaction is very important. Stealthy wood and delivering on Sundays will give us a huge competitive advantage. So now that I've added the name, let's go ahead and add a color as well. I'm going to choose salmon pink. Okay, this color um, will be used as the color code in the Gantt view, and we can check that out right now by going to our master schedule. So I'm going to go to schedule, and I can look at this by employee, but I'm going to check it out by role. Okay, so right now I'm looking at this week. Um, I can also look by day, month, or year, which is really nice. Um, but I'm just looking at this week. On the left, I'm going to see all of the roles that I have already scheduled some shifts for. Okay, so I just have delivery afternoon, delivery evening, and delivery morning scheduled. Okay, to create a new shift, it's really simple. Um, we can simply click on add or we can click on the specific time. So for example, if I want to um, uh, create a shift for this Saturday, I can simply click on create here. Okay, no one was um, selected on that day, so I don't have the employee. I can manually add it. But let's choose Beth. All right, now I'm going to change the role to the delivery on Saturday. Now you're going to notice when I change the role that the planning template um, will disappear. And that's because I don't have any planning templates created just yet um, for my Saturday delivery, but that's okay. We can create one when we're creating the shift, which is super cool. And I'm going to show you how. So first of all, let's choose delivery Saturday. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and specify the time. Of course, my employees need to know when they will start working. All right. So let's say from nine o'clock to um, noon. I was about to say three o'clock. Let's choose noon. All right, we don't we don't deliver um, for that long on Saturdays because I do have to pay my employees a bit extra on Saturdays. All right, I can say if I would like this shift to be repeated. So if Beth Evans should have this shift planned um, every week forever uh, or every two weeks for a specific amount of time. So we can say until, uh, let's say, the end of March, uh, but I won't repeat it for now. All right. This will just be a special thing. We can even add a note. Um, and I can say last uh, minute shift. 
All right, and then I can also save this as a template as I said before. If I select this, then it's gonna remember um, this time period for the roll delivery Saturday. Okay, so then the next time I create a shift uh, for the Saturday delivery, I'll be able to um, just quickly select the start date and end date so that I don't have to add it manually myself, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and save this, or I can publish it right away, which will make it visible by my employees. Okay, or I can publish and send it to uh, the employees. So notify my employees of the shift. But let's save for now. Now, if we just save and we don't publish, um, we're just going to see these stripes, okay? That means that it's in draft, so only I can view it or the managers of the planning, um, but not my employees, not yet. Okay, but to publish it, I can simply click on it again, and this is also how I can edit a shift just by clicking on it and then publish, all right? Now that I've published this, I told you that I created a template for the Saturday delivery um, while I created the shift. So let's go ahead and see that. All right, we can check out all of our templates by going to configuration shift templates. All right, and then I'm gonna see that template um, has been added, delivery Saturday, uh, the start hours nine o'clock, and we also have the duration. Okay, so that's really cool. That will allow me to create those templates on the fly, which can save me a ton of time, but I can also create templates from here as well. I don't only have to create them when I'm creating ships. So let's create a new one. All right, first of all, we will need to choose a role. So I'm gonna choose delivery Sunday. Okay, and then I'm gonna choose the start hour. So let's go ahead and say, um, oh, it'll be the same as Saturday. We'll start at nine o'clock and it will be a duration of three hours. Okay, so so far looks good. Then I can go ahead and use that template that I just created here as well. So let's jump back to our schedule by role. Okay, and let's go to the next Sunday. So I'm gonna move on to next week by clicking next here. Okay, and then I'm going to um, create a new shift by clicking on add. So let's go ahead and choose for Sunday the 16th. Okay, um, delivery Sunday. All right, the 16th, not the 17th. All right, we're going to choose um, our planning template. So look at me. I was already about to manually add the start date and the end date, but I don't need to because I just created that beautiful template. All right, saved me a ton of time already. Okay, we're not going to repeat this. And let's go ahead and publish it right away. All right, once we do that, we're going to see that it's added. Uh, we're going to have that role on the left. So that's really cool. Now let's go back to today. Now if I am several weeks away, not just one click away, I can go back to today by clicking on the today button. All right, so some things that are really cool here. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna see if there is a note on any of these shifts um, by looking at this little comment um, bubble. Okay, so I created a note on the shift uh, for Beth, so I'm gonna see that there. Um, and this is really cool because Perhaps um, someone is there when I wasn't expecting them to be, and then I can just quickly check the schedule and say, ah, okay, so um, Mitchell or Amy Caroline is replacing Ginny until the end of the week. Okay, so I can um, always quickly have access to those notes, which is really nice and also um, helps me stay organized, let's be honest. I'm also going to be able to see how many shifts are um, scheduled for the specific roles on each day. So for example, I have two people who are delivering in the evening today, okay? And on Thursday the 13th, I have three people scheduled, okay? I have three shifts. All right, so that's really nice. Um, we can easily keep track of everything that's happening here. Um, I'm gonna see though that for Anita, we have two shifts that are overlapping actually. And so I will see those both of those shifts here and I'm gonna have a little red tag on the shifts as well. So that's just another way to help me stay organized. Now, not only that, but we're going to have a line for the open shifts as well. So if we do see some shifts here, uh, we know that they aren't assigned. Okay, so for example, I have one here that isn't assigned and um, I have a note that says that I should check uh, with Katie from the employment agency to see if someone can um, replace Randall. Okay, and I don't have an employee assigned just yet. Okay, so I can see what um, shifts I have scheduled but are open by clicking here and then I can always add an employee quickly. Save. Okay, so it's super easy to um, edit and create new shifts uh, just like that. All right, but what's really nice as well, if I want to um, plan my schedule weeks in advance, so let's go a few weeks in the future. 
I don't have to um, manually add the shifts every time, every week. Okay, that would be quite tedious. What I can do, which is really cool, is I can copy the shifts from the previous week. All right, and this is really nice, especially if the schedule doesn't change that much. Um, maybe I have to change a few shifts here and there, add a few, take away a few. Um, but I can use the previous week as um, my, my base template. All right, that's really cool. Now, as soon as I'm ready to... Um, publish the shifts so make them visible to my employees I can do so and we're gonna we're not gonna publish the <laughs> the shifts just yet that far in the future but let's go back to the last one that we haven't published um, we can do so simply by clicking on send schedule now I know this is in the draft because all of these are striped as soon as it's published and visible to my employees it will be a solid color um, like we see here okay so here I still am looking at the draft um, but I can send the schedule. So first of all, I can either publish and send the schedule. Um, and this will not only make it visible to my employees, but it will also send them a notification. Or I can simply publish it and not bother my employees with an email. Um, and I also have the option to add an additional message. Good luck this week. And publish and send. Okay, as soon as I publish it, of course, it will go from stripes to a solid color. Now, what's really cool um, with the publish and send versus the publish option, if, for example, I need to um, add a shift somewhere. So let's go ahead and um, say I'm going to add a shift here. I will choose my employee, Amy Caroline, and my template and go ahead and save. All right, I see that it's draft. I can first of all publish this specific shift or I can go back to send schedule and just click on publish and that will publish everything that has not yet been published but I doesn't I don't have to bother all of my employees with the notification once again I can just go ahead and publish that discreetly all right so that's super cool and this is just the basics of the planning app it will help you stay organized keep track of all of your employees shifts and roles and that's all for this video Thank you for watching, and if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.